Hello everyone, today we talk about the environment in Unreal Engine. As you know, in Unreal Engine 5, we have a powerful Nanite technology that allows us to load into the engine a tons of geometry. But we have a question, how can we texture such high poly mesh? And today I will show you the pipeline how to make the environment asset for Unreal without retopology, unwrapping, texturing, and this bunch of stuff that distance you from the final result. I came across a new development called Nova from Sergei Tapkin a month ago. I'm sure you know this guy. He has already created many packs and Blender add-ons. However, with the Nova tool, he offers a new approach to the pipeline for working with the environment in Unreal. This allows you to spend more time directly on design and working with forms without being distracted by technical aspects. I'll demonstrate this truly advanced approach to work, so let's not waste time and get started. First of all, we must install Zenset add-on for Blender, where the Nova tool is built. Nova tool works in Blender version 4 and higher. Go to Preferences and install the downloaded Zenset. Next, go inside and find the script option tab. Activate it and inside the Nova Tool folder, select the file User Nova and then restart the Blender. We also need the Unreal Engine file Nova Modular Sci Fi Kit or Nova Procedural Material System, which contains a prepared shader for working with the Nova Tool. Let's sum up what we need to run this procedural material system. I have this train from the author Jasper Landing to demonstrate the pipeline thanks to Jasper for sharing it. I subdivided this mesh a bit to achieve the desired result. I also made a couple of additional assets in 3D code. As you can see, my objects don't have UV and there are no low poly versions of the assets, only rough objects with a fairly dense mesh. We get to remember two general things to work correctly with Nova Tool. First, the material applied to your object must follow the name M underscore ID and number, where the number is the number of your material layer in Unreal. We have five customizable layers that we can use for shading. And second point, before clicking the back and export button, you must create an empty object and locate your asset inside this empty object. Only after that will Nova tool works correctly. So let's repeat all our actions from scratch. First of all, I need to create all material ID and apply on my object. Let's start. First one, it would be this guy. Press rename MID1. After that, I will create MID2. And let's switch into the viewport shading to see the materials. I will change the color so we can see it better. And for this one, it will be blue. For the second one, I'll make it just a little bit dark. Let's apply number one, M underscore ID number three. And I wish to create it yellow. After that, rename this one to M underscore ID number four. The last one, M underscore ID five. Okay. I will export glass part separately, so I don't need to apply any material ID for this one. As you can see, we have all five material ID. It means we have all five layers so that we can apply to other assets. For example, I would like to apply the number one here, number two here. The same things I will do with my ground asset. I have the ground one, it will be first material ID, second is here, the last one for the branches, nice. After I assign all materials, I need to create empty object, let's call it SM train, and let's select all our parts of our asset, except the glass one, and Press on our empty object, press Ctrl P and choose the object keep transform. We parent all our parts into the empty object. And that's it, that's what uh, actions we need to do for baking our vertex color. Let's repeat the same things for other assets.
Now all we need to do is just export our objects, go to the then set, press back and export. And after you press back and export, here is a window that you can set the parameters for export. I would suggest apply transform here and also switch this guy to the Z up and press on back and export. The special things about the Nova tool that we bake whole information into the vertex color of the geometry and the denser mesh, the better the result will be. However, based on my experience, I would maintain a balance. Since time required to bake the vertex color depends on the number of vertices, you also need to consider all the features of the particular asset. For example, there is no point in throwing a million polygons onto a cube to get the required result, which we cannot say about a more complex asset like a statue, where each depression is information about details. And here, all the costs for polygons will be justified. Okay, I already exported all my assets and it takes time because I have super high poly ground here and also my train and rails contains the high poly objects. Let's try to import all of this guy into Unreal Engine. I already opened Unreal Engine file Nova CFA kit and let me I show you what we have here. It's a, an overview map that you can find a bunch of assets that Sergey prepared for you. All of them working with Nova material and also here is a bunch of decals that you can use in your own projects and some guide how procedural materials is working here and we have some materials. Uh, the main materials is this one, the Nova material, also have a bunch of extra for the glass and the lighting and uh, all meshes, all assets, all modular assets you can find into the mesh folder. Okay, let's create our folder for, for the train asset and uh, I'll create a new level. And I will create also a new folder. Let's import our skylight, import everything here that we need for the scene. And now we need to import all our assets that we created before. We need to switch on build tonight and we need to switch this vertex color import option on replace and I also turn off the import materials and textures and press import all assets. And now I create one more folder for materials, go to layered folder and copy Nova material into my folder and I will call it material train Nova and uh, duplicate and let's call it ML ground Nova and ML rails Nova. Let's apply all materials to assets. I'll open train rails and ground for the ground we'll apply the ground material for the rails we'll apply the rails one and for the train the train material let's drag and drop our asset into the scene let's open our material to see what we have here we have tab for details and uh, layer parameters. Into the layer parameters we have uh, our five layers that we can adjust as we wish. Into each layer tab we have also the top material, bottom material and uh, all of this mixing through the noise that contains into the wear. Into the details tab we have additional layers that calls dirt, dust or leakage. All of these parameters are going on the top of these layer parameters. So let's start to adjust our material. I want to make the train base into fade blue with rust on surface. To do this I first adjust the color of the top layer. After that I'll adjust the bottom layer with rust. To see better what's going on I will turn off all details parameters. Let's switch on wear parameter and adjust it. So we need more spots of rust on the wall part. 
To do that, I need to decrease the wear walls chirp parameter and increase wear walls amount. By these parameters, you can adjust the wall and floor separately, another feature that makes this material unique. Let's do the same adjustments with other layers. After I get a general look at my layer materials, I am going to add dirt and leakage on top of them. We have three types of masks for wear and dirt layers that we can adjust. You can make the mask more or less contrast to control opacity or tiling. Also there are a bunch of other parameters that allow us to set the material as we wish. The last thing that I do here is add the leakage. To get some more variety of the look, let's add decals on top of it. If we go to the material and go to the decal info, and here is a bunch of decals that we can apply to our train. Okay, let's bring some decal after and just drag and drop some something like this. You can mention that how decals are ignore all leakage and dirt stuff. It looks freaking awesome. I'd like to make it into the yellow and a little bit dark. And also into the decal color parameter you can tweak this alpha and to get more or less mass capacity for the decal. Okay, let's quickly add others. Ok, I will leave the train like this at the moment and let's adjust our ground and rails. Drag and drop our rails into the scene, open the material and we will repeat the same action that we did before with our train. For the rails we need adjust only these two layers, uh, the background and layer 2. The last asset we will set up is my favorite one, it's this ground. Since I didn't expect the Nova material to pair so well with non-metal surfaces, let's adjust this ground asset and see what we'll get at the end. After I finished to adjust my ground asset, I starting to duplicate it to get the huge ground space. In the final you can see how these three assets looking together. Very quickly I got excellent result, just imagine, no low poly, no UV, no baking textures, no texturing, just export your high poly mesh and adjust material settings. Let's switch into the nanite visualization and see what we have. Yep, everything is working in Nanite without any issues. I've created one more material for our train and I would like to work with this one. It looks not bad. Let's see how it looks like in the final result. You can find more information about the Nova tool, the link of this video below. And uh, if you like my video, my tutorials, please subscribe on my channel. There will be more information, more exciting content in the future. Thank you for watching and see you.